difficult to know the difference between will and going to. And many people get confused about this. So in today's English grammar lesson, we're going to explore the difference between will and going to, which are both used to talk about the future. Understanding the subtle difference between will and going to will improve your general English abilities, make you sound more like a native speaker, and um, it will really help you to understand people's meanings when they are using these verbs to talk about the future. In the lesson plan today, we're going to cover when to use will, when to use going to, and at the end, do practice exercises. So sometimes uh, we use will and going to interchangeably, meaning sometimes it has the same meaning. So sometimes it doesn't matter which one you use, but there's some subtle differences. And we're just gonna be focusing on those differences today. First, we use will to make a prediction based on our opinion or experience. For example, I'm sure that if I ask John to go to the movies with us, he will say no. So I'm making a prediction that John will say no. This prediction is based on my personal opinion or my experience with John. I know what kind of person he is, so I think he will say no. The Lakers have too many great basketball players on their team. I am sure they will win the championship. So it's my opinion that they will win the championship. She doesn't want to read the book because she thinks she will not like it. That's a prediction. Of course, she doesn't know if she will like the book or not. It's just her opinion that she won't. On the other hand, we use going to to make a prediction based on present evidence. For example, the clouds are dark, so I think it's going to rain. So that's a prediction that it's going to rain, but it's uh, based on the fact that I can see the clouds getting dark. It's evidence. My stomach hurts. I think I'm going to be sick. So yes, it's a prediction that I think I'm going to be sick, but my stomach hurts. So that's kind of a present evidence. The Lakers best player has just gotten injured. I think they're going to lose the game. So you could say that it's my opinion that they're going to lose the game, but I think in this case, it's a prediction based on the evidence because um, the, the, the player has gotten injured during the game, I think. So it's a present evidence. Let's review. We use will to make a prediction based on personal opinion or experience. You can think of this as subjective predictions. We use going to, to make a prediction based on some current evidence, objective predictions. Let's move on. We use will to predict the future with, I bet, I expect, I hope, I imagine, I reckon, I think, I wonder, and I'm sure. For example, I bet you will go back to your home country now, won't you? I wonder what will happen in the future. She hopes I will come to visit her new home. Now, we can also use going to in this situation, but it's more informal. So I would recommend just remembering to use will. And don't worry about going to. We also use will in questions with think, think and reckon. Do you think it will rain tomorrow? I reckon you will go back to your home country now, won't you? She thinks that the winter will be colder than usual this year. Again, we can also use going to here, but it's more informal. So I recommend just forgetting about it and just use will in this situation. We use going to to describe decisions about the future that have already been made. Can you come over tomorrow? No, I can't. I'm going to go fishing with my dad. 
I've already made the decision to go fishing with my dad. She is going to teach me English this afternoon. She's already decided to, to teach English this afternoon. They are going to move to Spain next month. The decision is already made. So that's important. Um, we can use will also here, but it's not really necessary. So I recommend just using going to. But you might see will. When do we use will? Uh, when we make a decision about the future at the moment of speaking. Is it raining now? I will go get your umbrella from the car. I made the decision to get the umbrella as I was speaking. After seeing the snake in the grass, I will be more careful on this hike. I've decided to be more careful at the moment of speaking. The company has just decided that they will start selling masks. They just decided right now. So the review, we use will when we make a decision about the future at the moment of speaking. We use going to, to describe decisions about the future that have already been made. Okay, before we go on, we have to discuss what is an if sentence. Sentences containing the word if are called conditional sentences because they usually express a condition. Now, conditionals is a whole nother grammar point, uh, which we'll have to do another video on that sometime. But um, don't worry about that. For now, just remember an if sentence has two parts. The first part, if you pull the dog's tail, that's called the if clause, he will bite you. It's called the main clause. So it has two parts. If you drink too much beer, you will get sick. Okay. There's a lot of rules for these sentences. Let's check it out. We use going to in the main clause of an if sentence when we say something that is conditional on something else. For example, if we eat too much food, we are going to get fat. So getting fat depends on eating too much food. If we didn't eat too much food, we wouldn't get fat. So that means getting fat is conditional. If she has time this afternoon, she's going to teach me English. See, it depends on her having time. If they earn enough money, they are going to move to Spain. If they don't have the money, they won't move to Spain. So it's conditional. And we can also use will here. So it's kind of the same, it's interchangeable. If we eat too much food, we will get fat. If she has time this afternoon, she will teach me English. If they earn enough money, they will move to Spain. So remember, if the main clause is something that is conditional on the if clause, then we, use, we can use will or going to. It's whatever you want, you don't have to worry. Where it starts to get tricky is next. We use will when the main clause of an if sentence refers to offers, requests, or promises and ability. Now it starts to get confusing, okay? If I see your dog, I will let you know. So this person has lost their dog. If I see them, I will tell you. So that's a promise or an offer. If you give me $5, I will make you a latte. That's a promise. If you have some free time, will you help me learn English? That's a request. So it's a little bit confusing, but remember offers, requests, or promises, and ability, we use will. And sorry, I spelled latte wrong. It's supposed to have only one E. We use going to when the future event in the main clause of an if sentence does not depend on the action described in the if clause. Wow, that is kind of a headache to read. I'm going to get a beer soon. 
if you want one. So the main action, it does not depend on if you want one. So I don't care if you want one or not, I'm going to get a beer. But if you do want one, I'll bring an extra one for you. I'm going to visit Mary this weekend, if you'd like to come. So whether or not you come, I'm still going to go. So I am going to visit her this weekend. If you want to help us, we are going to be working on Main Street. That's our job, to be working. So it doesn't matter if you want to help us or not. We're going to be there. Review. If sentences. We use will when the main clause of an if sentence refers to offers, requests, or promises and ability. We use going to when the future event in the main clause of an if sentence does not depend on the action described in the if clause. It's highly technical language here. Um, I want to see if you can put it into practice. So I have some review questions. And it's important to remember all the rules. So if you haven't already, please go back and write down the rules on a piece of paper so you'll be able to answer the questions correctly. It's probably too hard to remember everything. Okay, here are their questions. Fill in the blanks with either will or going to and the verb. First one, my daughter says she an astronaut when she grows up. So what is it? Is it will be or going to be? Okay, it's going to be. Why? Because it's a decision that has already been made about the future prior to the moment of speaking. So if you remember, when we talk about decisions that are made um, about the future prior to the moment of speaking, we use going to. Next one, I, my job next month. Is it I will quit my job next month or I'm going to quit my job next month? This one is uh, something, a planned event in the future, something that is planned. So if you remember, here we can use will or going to, but will is slightly more formal, so we'll use will. I will quit my job next month. Next one. Did I tell you I, Sarah on Saturday, is it? I will see Sarah on Saturday, or I'm going to see Sarah on Saturday. This is similar to the first one. It's a decision about the future that has already been made. So we use going to. Did I tell you that I'm going to see Sarah on Saturday? Next. When do you think you watching TV? Is it <clears throat> when do you think you will finish watching TV or when do you think you're going to finish watching TV? Okay, if you remember, we use will in questions that have think. When do you think you will finish watching TV? Next one. If I tell my employees to work overtime, I'm sure they angry. They will be angry or they are going to be angry. Okay, this is a prediction about the future based on our own opinion or experience. It's a subjective prediction. I'm sure they will be angry. 
Next. The sun is too bright today. You sunburnt if you go outside. Is it you will get sunburnt or you are going to get sunburnt? Well, this is a prediction about the future, which is based on present evidence. What is the present evidence? That the sun is too bright. So we use going to. The sun is too bright today. You are going to get sunburnt if you go outside. I'm a pot of coffee if you want some. Is it I'm going to make or I will make? Okay, here we use I'm going to make a pot of coffee. Can you remember why? Because it's an if sentence where the future event does not depend on the action described in the if clause. I'm going to make coffee. It doesn't matter if you want some or not. I'm going to make some. Next one. If you train every day, your muscles, is it are going to grow or will grow? Ready? This is something we didn't really cover, but it's uh, when the main clause of the if sentence refers to abilities. The ability here is training. If you train, we use will. Your muscles will grow. If you train every day, your muscles will grow because training is an ability. Next. If you give me $5 now, I promise I you $10 tomorrow. Is it I will give you or I'm going to give you? Okay, ready? This rule comes from the same slide as the previous because when the main clause of an if sense refers to promises, we use will. I promise I will give you $10 tomorrow. Wow. Okay, I've made this little list here to uh, help you sort of summarize all of the rules. So if I were you, I would pause the video and write down all of these rules, okay? and then. Try to make an example sentence for each rule. Because it's one thing to understand the rule, but it's another thing to be able to use the rule. So if you want, you can pause the video and do that. If not, uh, thank you for watching. And if you want to uh, have English lessons with me, there's my email. And I have lessons uh, on Zoom, Skype, WeChat, Hangouts, WhatsApp, whatever you want. I'm also on italki. Search my name, okay? There's my name right there. And leave a comment beneath this video. Oh, I spelled video wrong. Um, well, thank you for watching, okay? I hope that you learned something.